special clothes. On great occasions, ladies wore fine oriental silks and richly embroidered shawls. The men were obliged to wear their togas. These were semicircular pieces of cloth, five yards in diameter. They wrapped them round, with one end tucked into the waist, after it had passed over the shoulder from behind. The other end was carried on the arm. It was a most dignified garment, and very beautiful when it hung properly. But it was heavy, and a terribly difficult thing to put on, so that it looked just right. Officers in the army also had a difficult dress. They wore the usual loincloth, and a tunic with short sleeves, and a full kilt. This was often red in colour. On top of this came an elaborate breastplate, with figures of gods and heroes all over it. It was made of brass, and had to be highly polished. Then came a short kilt of thick leather. Their military boots had fine leather straps. On the left hip they hung the short, thick sword in a decorated scabbard. When visiting they carried their fine brass helmets under their arms. On parade they wore the helmet and it looked very brave with its crest bristling on top. Some great officials had parade helmets with a complete mask of polished brass covering their faces so that they must have shone brilliantly in the sun. <laughs>